people today kind of graduating with whether it's in high school or college diplomas, what do you do next? And, and, you know, given the somewhat gloomy outlook and forecast, um, you know, what, what is, should you be doing or looking to do going forward? Well, exactly, because having a certificate is not... Well, it means you sat through a certain number of classes. It doesn't really mean that I started an idea and, you know, here's my portfolio showing the um, micro company that I started with three other students. And we, you know, each invested a hundred bucks and we created, you know, the first set of some item that was sold. We netted a thousand dollars and then we reinvested and then made more product and and then we all netted five thousand dollars you know some sort of you know that there, there that would be the actual transcript yeah yeah and and so um i'm i, I think what uh, students are are needing is this sort of project-based thing i th did i talk to you about the network for teaching entrepreneurship 25 years old it, 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 it's a, they've come up with teaching materials that um, oh, excellent. Do they, have a website? they do N F T E network N -F -T -E. for teaching entrepreneurship it was uh, oh started God. by an entrepreneur dot com. Is it dot com? Uh, .org. and it was dot started org. by an entrepreneur and it as far as they have offices, regional offices, um, they uh, are a typical sort of middle-aged association. They, I think the founder is still somewhat engaged, but um, this, his spirit is not fully in charge. They're, they're more into, you know, how do we grow as an organization rather than and, oh, and how do we cover our overhead? <laughs> yeah, 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 very important. Well, you know, that, that, that's what a, um, a mid-sized uh, sort of 20-year-old association is more focused with, not with changing the world. They're just trying to survive, you know. So um, I, in, inside that, the kind of person I've talked to at their regional office was very protective of their materials, you know, um, it's very easy to get access to um, maybe a core three chapters of, of their textbook. And so I immediately placed a link from, a, from their chapter textbook to my um, website that I use to train teachers. And I said, look, this is a source material. This would be really, and it's available. Why not show it to your students? I, yeah, no, it's, it's great because the, that's what's sorely lacking. A lot of people, myself included, you know, are not, uh, uh, you know, I just haven't taken the time or, or exercised the discipline to put together, you know, materials and a guideline and something in, in writing. So when I have this conversation with people, which I do every so often, it's almost starting over again. You know, it's like, oh, well, this and this, and then you always think, oh, I should have mentioned, you know, something else. That's because I haven't, uh, Oh yes. Now, what what was disappointing was any organization that wants to change the world puts certain amount of material free on the website so that you'll you know this poster or whatever was obtained from our website. Please visit it. I was reprimanded and asked to remove the link to the free material. I mean, it, the it, to me, it's it just unsavable. Why? Well, what was there? Let's try to think what what's inside their mind. They think that yeah. if someone can get to the textbook without going through the website, they uh, they they might never come and visit and then buy some of the other items. Whereas I look at it as, wow, this is a this is a way to change attitudes. Yeah. 
This is a way to change the attitude of the teacher who thinks, well, I just teach math. I just teach science. No, you teach right. entrepreneurship. Yeah. So, well, you provide skills for people to go out into the world and, and make a life of hopefully. Right. Uh, whether it's through math or something else that they've learned in your classroom, you know, you're educating people. Yeah. So um, I'm somewhat... Um, I've sat down, I had a, uh, a three-hour meeting with two very bright um, college kids. They're neighbors of, uh, ch children of neighbors. And these yeah. kids are coming up with wonderful books that they're recommending to me. I'm thinking, wow, this is, I'm, I'm videotaping the, the sessions so that, um, with their permission, and they, they say, oh, sure, sure. And I say, look, the behavior you're exhibiting is what I hope my 17-year-olds will eventually adopt because these kids are like 22. They're just about to graduate. And um, I'm saying to, I, I want to show my 17-year-olds who are about to go to college, this is what you should be doing within four years. Why not start now? You know, <laughs> yeah, right. And one of those behaviors is recommending a book to someone. It it shows that you're uh, have taken initiative. It shows that you are using money to support the information industry. It shows that you are want to be part of a system you're valuable because you're giving away information someone once pointed out to me that um when you share money it's a win-lose situation but if you if you share information it's win-win because you don't have to lose any of your information when you share it and so that's probably the that's the easiest win-win for most people to get the, it's the, the the second win doesn't come. Yeah, that's interesting. It's, it's, it's very important that people uh, you know, start their college career with a view to what their expectation is, what their exit strategy will be. Wow. I think I think a lot of people, myself included, go to college and say, "Oh, for the next four years, I'm going to explore the world of academia and consort with great minds and read great books." And then it's only the last year, which is like, oh dear, I'm graduating. Here, <laughs> what am I going to do? And what, you know, what benefit has the past, you know, uh, going to offer the future? Um, you know, do you know anything about accounting? Do you know anything about? You know? <laughs> and now, in my case, I knew absolutely uh, practically nothing. You know, it was sort of a blank slate, but but. Um, yeah, and I, I and I don't think one should go from one extreme to the other, which is the you know, the people are going to take every business course they can, thinking that they're going to be a business person at the end, is, is perhaps equally as foolish. But I think it's important that people think before they begin, you know, what it is that they want as an outcome besides a degree and presumably student loan, so they're going to have to be paid off in time and a debt and so forth. So there's always a financial piece to the transaction. It, 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 there's a wonderful writer who says, um, he, he gives advice to um, <clears throat> teenagers. He, he's a psychologist and he says, begin with the end in mind. And that's a, precisely what you just said. S start with some idea of what you're going. Doesn't mean you're, that's what you're going to do, but it's some idea. Right. Set of tools in the toolbox, you're 